Hi, this is Stacy with Lily Bean Crafts by Stacy. Welcome back, and if it's your first time, thanks for stopping by. I decided to make something a little bit different this week. Um, a really good friend of mine, she just had her birthday, and she loves all things summer and flip-flops, so I decided to make her this 15-inch round sign that's about one inch thick that I got from Menards, and I went ahead and just sanded it down with a 220-grit piece of sandpaper. And I'm just gonna take some white acrylic paint and paint the entire surface and get it prepped for all of the work that I'm gonna be doing. start of this I'm only going to work on the top of the sign I'm going to finish up the edges of it um, on the side once all the epoxying is done I went on Pinterest as I was trying to find a design to make for her and I found the cutest little sign that somebody had posted on Pinterest right here and I decided to recreate it but with glitter and epoxy. So I'm just going to go and start off with taking one inch painter's tape and taping it off. The yellow is going to be the predominant color on the sign and I just used Apple Barrel's light yellow. I picked it up at Walmart, I believe, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put a nice thick coat on it all over where it's not taped. And I'm just gonna go ahead and let that dry for about a half an hour. Once I had all the paint on, I went ahead and I pulled the tape, let it dry for, like I said, about 30 minutes, and then I went ahead and re-taped it again and started with the glitter portion. I am working with a fast set epoxy, and I used way too much. I wound up mixing 60 mLs because I just wasn't sure how much I was going to need, and I probably only used like 30 to 40 mLs of it. I am using Lazy Days from Peachy Olive Glitter. It's just the perfect yellow to go with the paint that I did. And I'm just making sure that I mix it up really good because I want to have good coverage of the glitter because you can kind of see the paint through it. And um, like I said, I just wanted to make sure that it was going to be completely covered. So I'm just going to go ahead and very carefully apply it to all of the yellow spots, being really careful at the edges because I didn't want any drip. And after about 10 minutes of it being on the board, I did go and pull the tape so that I wouldn't have any problems pulling it if it was too far cured. couple spots that didn't have enough glitter on it so I did go back and touch up just a couple of spots to make sure it had enough coverage.
And here's where I'm carefully peeling off the tape, making sure that I don't mess with any of the glitter that's on the side. So I did this really slowly. And then once the yellow was all cured, I went ahead and I had to touch up a couple of the spots of the white from when I pulled the tape, let that dry for a few minutes, and then I'm going to go ahead in and tape off the yellow glitter and start working on the white glitter. I went in with Bright from Peachy Olive Glitters. It was just the perfect white glitter to use for this section of the sign. And I mixed up 25 mLs of my Facet Epoxy. Once again, a little bit too much, but I just wanted to make sure that I had enough. And I'm just gonna blend this really, really well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and once again, carefully apply it to the sign and make sure that I didn't allow any drips. And then after 10 minutes, I went ahead and I peeled the tape. After roughly about four hours, I was ready to go ahead in with the vinyl steps. I found these flip-flops on my Cricut, and I just went ahead and printed them off in a size that I thought would work well for it. I wanted to go with teal for the flip-flops and then white for the actual tongue of the flip-flop. And here I am just going ahead and just placing it. found this cute Hello Summer SVG in Creative Fabrica, and I went ahead and sized it to the appropriate size that I wanted it for the sign, and then I printed it out in this really pretty orange permanent vinyl, and I will go ahead and link in the description this SVG. Now I'm going in with my Facet Epoxy to put a top coat over it to seal it in. I did 30 mLs of Flynn Sisters Facet Epoxy, and I'm going to go ahead and let this cure 
for roughly three to four hours and then go on to the next step. picture that I had was in 3d so it had a lot of dimension to it so I decided to add a little bit more dimension to this by outlining the flip-flop so I took an extra fine Posca pen and I added a couple of circles and some lines just to give it the extra little bit that it needed to make it pop a little bit And I wanted to add the starfish to the flip-flop. So in um, my Cricut under images, I found these little starfish and I just sized them appropriately and used a fuchsia colored permanent vinyl, applied it to the base of the tongue of the flip-flop. And then I'm gonna take my Posca pen and I'm gonna add some circles and finish off all of the extra dimension. And I'm going to let the pen dry for a few minutes and then go in with my final coat of epoxy. I am using 30 mLs of the Flynn Sisters Fast Set Epoxy. I am using this as my final coat for two reasons. One, it's going to be indoors. And for two, it is safe to use the Flynn Sisters Fast Set for your final coat. So I'm going to go ahead and carefully apply this, taking a lot of care at the edges to make sure that none of it drips. I'm also going to look at it really well to make sure that there's no bumps, everything like that. I'm going to torch it really well after a few minutes, and then I'm going to let this dry for about four hours and then start working on painting the edges of the sign. And now I'm gonna go in and carefully finish off the side of the sign here. I'm gonna start with the yellow, working my way around, just making sure that I have it all nice and clean so that when it gets hung up, it looks really pretty. And once I have all of the yellow done on here, I'm gonna go directly in with the white and finish that up as well, and then put the brackets on the back of it, and then this sign will be all done.
The great thing is this whole process only took me 24 hours to do. It turned out so great. I love how it finished up. She absolutely loved it. I already gave it to her. Please check out my Lily Bean Crafters Community Facebook group. If you haven't yet, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see everybody again next week. Thank you so much. Bye.